uh, I enlisted in the military um, right out of high school. I did uh, six years in the Iowa National Guard and uh, went to Afghanistan. Uh, I was a forward observer. I went out with infantry and uh, called in mortars and artillery. I joined the Navy right out of high school in 2007 and I was in for nine and a half years. He started regressing on different items that he used to be able to do and he wasn't verbally talking yet. He was about two and a half, we went to Iowa City and he was diagnosed with PDD NOS, so pervasive development disorder, not otherwise specified. Um, but now it, he's got a full diagnosis of autism. I always say he is severely autistic, severely nonverbal autistic. We still hope that he will use words someday. I was in the United States Navy during the last part of Vietnam, so I'm a Vietnam era veteran. He has just been diagnosed with autism, also intellect disability, and he was four at the time and he's 11 now, so a lot has changed since then. Just within the last two years, he's become verbal. I was in the Marine Corps for 20 years. I joined when I was 17 and I had three deployments and I retired two years ago. I served in the United States Army from 2001 to 2006. You know, this is hard in the, in the sense that a part of us has been taken away by what we've seen or what we've done or what we try to, you know, try to bury in our minds and stuff just don't go away. I got paired with Jumper, um, actually had to work with a couple different dogs before, uh, once they brought him out from the kennels, um, he actually lived up to his name. He jumped into my lap and laid his head down and uh, ever since then we were, we were pretty well bonded. My first visit I trained with her and two other dogs and the guys here thought that Harper was a perfect fit for me. As we started down the process with Retrieving Freedom, we were put on a one to two year waiting list. It's been a fairly short process for us because we were fortunate enough to get Zach. Like, the bond will come, the bond will come, and we're thinking, oh, with Dylan, how is this bond gonna come? Because it's Dylan, and this is not gonna, this is not gonna happen for us. Well, it's interesting because Dylan can now say the word Zach, which is a new word for him. It's an overwhelming process to really know how to go about doing that and then found out that this wonderful organization here in Waverly where they are and they had so many testimonials from people that the whole process just kind of snowballed and rolled right into place just with their referral and talking to Scott and different people who had gotten dogs and we were fortunate to have so many people that wanted to help us. I think it's just been kind of surprising how well he's transitioned. He's transitioned I think faster to the dogs than they anticipated. They decided you know what we're just gonna make it official. Glory's gonna be his dog. I wanted to get a service dog and since I don't really need public access I that we decided that a companion dog would be a good thing for me. Jackson had met Rex in this room. Um, the introduction was so unexpected because he never connects with anything. It was immediate. It, it, the response, the, the interaction, it was just an amazing beginning, should I say. And as I volunteered and came up here, I was introduced to Turner, who wasn't doing so great, but uh, as soon as he met me and I met him, we we got along great and we've pretty much been together ever since. I worked with several dogs over the course of a year and uh, that Gordy and I met and we just, everything seemed to click into place. With a lot of anxiety, um, you know, getting out and about in public, um, uh, being around a lot of crowds and just people in general. Um, you know, that's that's kind of a big barrier for a lot of veterans to break. Um, they're just really hyper vigilant about everything, and uh, just uh, makes you breathe a little bit easier. And you know, someone's always watching your back. But the reason I want a service dog is so I can feel like I can do normal people everyday things. I get anxious going out to a gas station or going shopping. I having Marley helps helps curb that, helps reduce the anxiety. It's still there but it's
greatly diminished. It it just feels feels natural now being able to go out in public. I feel like there's nobody gonna be sneaking up behind me or anything like that. It's it's just comforting. Uh, Harper helps me out as far as retrieving things when I drop them. She helps me with my being a good companion for my emotions and my anxiety and she helps me get back up on my feet when I fall down. Service dogs like Zach will help Dylan with his autism because for a couple reasons. One is tethering so when we're walking in public he has a shiny object moment and he takes off on us that he won't be able to do that anymore so safety is a big thing. Um, and then that leads to less anxiety for us because we don't have to worry about where's Dylan? What's Dylan doing? The other thing is is um, companionship is another big one. Dylan's 11, he still sleeps with us in our bed. We're hoping that with the support of Zach at home that we'll be able to get him into his own bed. So we have very specific things that we started with that Scott knew they would be able to train Glory for for him. And then there's always kind of an unknown factor of things that um, he's seen dogs do that they, they aren't necessarily trained for. But Leo can be a climber and can climb to the top of his play set, climb things, and we're hoping that um, she'll kind of instinctually learn that that's not safe for him and kind of... Mm -hmm. Keep him on the floor? Yeah, yeah, so that's our goal. That if uh, she sees that I'm unsettled, she will jump on my lap and or she'll sit next to me or she'll do what she's doing now. And now, like with this, asking him to participate, um, he's sitting here calmly with Rex, but you notice he's constantly petting him. So it's his coping. Boys Turner's helped me as a service dog and probably other veterans is that he, he just picks up on my anxiety um, really, really well, actually. If I start to get nervous or even angry about being at Walmart, he'll, uh, he'll kind of grab me and make me leave or he'll start messing around with me and, and get my attention off whatever's bothering me. I also used to have quite a bit of nightmares before the medicine I'm on now and he would he'd sleep with me and wake me up during those. He does that and he also does like what you call blocking. So if it's a crowded place he'll either lead the way or he'll stand behind me if I'm in line somewhere. So he, he really just kind of keeps people away from me and then keeps me calm. Gordy helps me by doing pause up when I'm either having an anxiety attack or a partial seizure. It helps me take my mind off the situation and uh, it helps me make it through the anxiety a little bit better. Something Gives focus. me something to focus on. But now he can go to our two competitions and my brother's baseball. There's things that we have as, as veterans that isn't going to go away, that there's no way to cure it. So you try to figure out the best way to manage it. That's what Parker does. These dogs are trained to, to turn lights on and they're, they're trained to just be, they're trained to be there for you no matter what. So it kind of brings a, a peace, mm -hmm. it, it, even if it's just that much. I'm looking forward to being able to uh, get out in public more um, and not feel so um, alert. It'll just, it'll just be a, a life changer. It'll, it'll change my quality of life, um, being able to have him by my side everywhere I go. Finally excited about my future um, because I'll be able to go out and do exciting things. Like I'll be able to go to hockey games and not be super stressed out. I've yet to go to an Iowa Hawkeyes football game. I, I want to do that so bad. I want to I wanna watch the wave. I want to be a part of the wave. He'll be able to take Zach to school with him. That's a big thing for comfort as he transitions from an elementary school into a middle school. Um, he'll have that extra security with him. And a constant and a, life. And a constant companion. And we'll be able to do more things as a family. Um, and that's and not the that we don't thing. do a lot of things already. We just will just make take our anxiety down a whole nother level to right. and be able just to enjoy enjoy more things as a family. Yep. Definitely. So along with being a safety um, precaution for Leo, also be a friend. And um, he likes to play, he'll like to tug with her, wrestle with her, snuggle with her. And I think it's going to close a social gap for him. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. That we can keep growing and, and I can keep training her. To... Well, actually this year, 
Um, we could explore more options for vacation. Um, they've been pretty limited. We've always had to kind of keep things in close quarters. Um, so now having the security and having Rex as a tool, we can go to Adventureland. We're looking forward to that. Looking forward to like after graduation, I'm looking forward to just having somebody or something here with me all the time. I look forward to many, many years with him. Last year we did dock dogs for the first time. That's where the dogs run off the dock into the water. It's like a long jump. And um, he got first place in his category last year. So we've been, we went out yesterday and that's kind of what we, it's just one of the things we do together where we just basically play catch and he loves to be in the water, so. It, this place is amazing. I, I love it up here. I love coming up here. You come in here and there's a relaxing. There's a, there's a, you know, you're not being judged for who you are. With knowing who I'm affiliated and associated with now, I can hold my head up high and go, you know what? You can't phase me. I've done and seen things that you don't even understand or nor want to understand. We're looking forward to going to Ocean City in Maryland. I look forward to going to the kids' events and trying to get out in public more. All right, just wanted to say a big thank you to uh, Retrieving Freedom for uh, making all this possible and uh, also to Chai Charities for uh, helping with a huge portion of the grant um, going towards Jumper and not only for myself but a couple other veterans as well. Thank you guys, appreciate it. I want to give a big special thank you to Retrieving Freedom for giving me the opportunity to get my life back. I really appreciate all the hard work that you've put into training these dogs. And I also want to thank Chive Charities for their very gracious donation that they've given me to be able to bring Marley home with me. It's, it's unbelievable. Thank you. I want to say thank you to everybody at Retriever Freedom for all the things that they've done for me and assisted me in my training with, with Harper and been kind to me for my stays here. I'd like to thank Retrieving Freedom for the opportunity to have Zach in our life. So many advantages for us in the future to have. we also like to thank our parents and all of our friends and family that have supported us with Dylan and those that have helped financially con contribute to the dog. Um, it's just been overwhelming and we're very humbled by it. So what do you consider Gabby like your best friend? My best friend? Yeah, is she your best friend? Yeah. Well, I want to thank Retrieving Freedom for giving me this fine. <laughs> she's a loads of laugh and she's a lot of fun to be with. I want to thank you very much. Oh. And snuggle him, that's a big job, huh? Wait, wait. Say thank you, Retrieve. Do Get me Rex. Do me wet. I want to thank Retrieving Freedom for just changing our family's life. The opportunity that they gave um, Jackson to meet some amazing goals that we never thought was achievable. You literally have changed how we look at things, our possibilities. We don't look at things with limits anymore. We look at things that we're going to achieve. We thank everybody who donated for us to get Rex. Something that's beautiful, you just can't put into words. Our life is so much better and thank you very, very much. I would like to thank, first and foremost, Retrieving Freedom. If it wasn't for my buddy who was already going here, and Scott and Chad especially, uh, those two guys definitely made me feel welcome in, in a position that I was just absolutely nervous to be in. And then there's Keegan and Sarah who just make everything fun. Um, if it wasn't for all four of them here, um, when I first started, I, I would have never came back. And I want to thank my wife especially for allowing me to go through this process and to add a family member to our home and um, my kids, everybody's super supportive, my dad, my mom, everybody that's ever met Turner falls in love with him and so um, it's not just mine and his connection, it's his with my family so just thank you to everybody and you have no idea how much this has changed my life.
like to thank Retrieving Freedom and the family that sponsored Gordy. Uh, without them, I wouldn't have Gordy or being as doing as well as I am right now. Um, I'd like to thank everyone that's donated money towards this cause. It, it means a lot to us. I want to thank RFI and Scott Dewey and Chad Johnson. Because the service that you provide is is not only rewarding for you, but it does something for us that nobody in the world would ever understand. I want to thank everybody that, that has helped me through this process. And thank you for helping me get Parker. And maybe, you know, thank you for helping me with my quality of life.